We cannot command results. We can only strive. Gandhi, Young India, January 8th, 1925. When I was teaching my nonviolence course at Berkeley, I came up with this expression, the Gita theory of action. You choose a right goal, you use the right means, haha, <laughs> guess which, nonviolence, and here's the critical part, you step back from the results. You don't triumphalize over some success and thereby ruin everything. If you can do all those three things, Success is assured. If you can't, it's not. And it's important also to add that this applies to all action, whether it be on the smallest possible scale, you know, petting the cat on the way out to breakfast this morning, or uh, liberating a country of 300 million people from an oppressive regime. Those principles will apply. Choose the right goal, use the right means, otherwise known as nonviolence, and do not cling to the results for your own benefit. Now this part can actually be pretty subtle and it goes together with the, the firm belief in India that we are not really doing anything. It is God doing things through us and our role is to be as transparent an instrument as possible.